knockin' out your head I'm on a bird, all of my boys, we takin' meds, yeah, we get hit yeah. I'm pushin' with this steady, you movin' on your head Yeah, uh, the Grammy just came in and I put diamonds on that bitch I wake up just to kinda all right, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. We are back again with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a song like Yeet. You already saw the preview, so if you guys wanna see how I made that song, stay tuned for the rest of the video. We're gonna be going over how I made the beat, my process for recording the vocals, and how I mixed everything, and then there's gonna be a bunch of other stuff in between. So if you guys could do me a huge favor real quick and hit that like button for me, and if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. If you wanna stay tuned for more mixing videos, more producing videos, and a bunch of other stuff like that. And before we get started, if you guys could do me a huge favor and follow me on Instagram, this is a great spot for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing in my life and stuff like that. And also, if you are not already in the Discord, make sure you go down to the description, hit that link, and join in the discord if you want to be part of the community and as always everything you see me use in this video all of the vocal templates presets drum kits and anything like that if you're looking to up your producing game head over to quintinbaba.com the link is always in the description and the pinned comment below anyways let's jump into this video all right so i was going for something off of yeet's new album like his song told you so you know as a producer i already picked out a few things that i really want to do with this beat to really get that yeet sound. And in my opinion, when you're going for that yeet sound, Serum is just your best bet for the melodies. And that's exactly what I did. I went into Serum and I picked out this synth called Fragile, which basically sounds like this. And I played this chord progression right here in the key of G sharp minor. And this is what we got. And then next up, I just added another sound from Serum. I found this lead, I played a super simple pattern right here. As you can see, it's nothing complicated at all, but uh, this is what it sounded like. Next up, I just added a bass, super simple, literally two notes here. We just followed the chord progression. And I don't even use the bass too much. There's just a few breakdown parts in the beat that I wanted to go over. So this is what the bass sounds like. And when you play that chord progression, the lead and the bass together, we got basically the entire melody, which sounds like this so far. At this point, I'm thinking this is pretty much done. I'm liking how it sounds, but I wanted that part where the court, when the chorus comes in, I wanted to have a little bit more energy. So I went back into Serum and I found another lead and I added the super repetitive melody. But as you can see, it just brings a whole lot of energy. So this is what it sounds like by itself. And like I said, it's super repetitive, but for some reason it just really helps add energy to that chorus. And here's what that finished melody ended up sounding like. know we had to get busy with these drums so let me show you guys what i did here and if you guys want drums to sound like this if you head over to quintinbobbit.com website looks like this all you got to do is scroll down and you can see that we have my new kit out right now called cyber it's a sound kit bundle so it has a bunch of stuff in it like a drum kit serum bank one shot kit and a bunch of other stuff sprinkled in between and if you click buy now it'll bring you to the buy now page and as you can see you can either get the bundle or i also made each and every kit available by itself so you grab the serum bank by itself the one shot kit or the drum kit but let's get back to the drum so i started out with this clap and and you know, it's just your super simple clap pattern, except for one note right here at the very end, you can see. And we added the hi-hat. And I added three different snares to just kind of add to that bounce. And as you can see, that hi-hat, I kind of left the pattern super open. It just adds to like that more of like a smoother bounce. But here are the snares. Last part was just some high hats or open hats. And of course, of course, we gotta get that 808 going. So I use this 808 for my kit called Whack. And this is the whole drum pattern. Finally, the last part of the beat was really just the arrangement. Basically, what I did for the arrangement was super simple. I started out the beat with just the original chord progression. I added a few sound effects, and then as you can see, the clap hits, then the hi-hat, followed by the 808, and then all the drums come in, and it really adds like this energy right in the beginning of the song. So I'll just play that for you guys. And then real quick, for the chorus of the song, I actually did something weird and very unconventional, but that's a very key part in music when you guys are doing stuff. Whatever works and whatever sounds good, you should just go with, because there are no rules in music, but basically what I was going with here, I accidentally added 
added that bass on top of the 808, which you're not really supposed to do, but it ended up sounding good. So I'll just let you guys listen to these 16 bars right here so you can get an idea for what we're going for. <laughs> That's the entire beat so now it is time for the next step which is the lyrics so now i'm going to show you guys what the recording process looked like and don't let this make you click off the video because i'm telling you it's going to sound a lot better a little bit later i just caught the vibe i did by this tonka curtains on each side moving all this weight i think i might have lost my mind I just bought these Tonka, I just bought these bears And I don't wanna hear this shit you talking out your head I'm on the perk Shit, ha Yeah, ha The Grammy just came in and I put diamonds on that bitch Pull back the curtains inside of the Rolls Royce I'm copping the Tesla, I'm helping the climb and I'm hitting the gas and there's no noise Telling the friends about me, not an original thought about it I had to go make a song about it Thinking when something like sorry about it Or maybe something like mad about it so the next and last part of this is usually the hardest and the longest part, but in my opinion, one of my favorite parts of making a full song, and that is the mixing process. So as you can see, here is the whole FL Studio project, and there's a lot to it. And if you didn't already know, I basically streamlined this process for you. So if you head over to quintababa.com and go to my vocal templates page, you can see that I have the default mixing template, which is basically, if you look at FL Studio here, you can see uh, all this stuff is colorized and the mixer is all set up to how I usually mix. And as you can see, I got this vocal track, two double tracks, two ad lib tracks, and then a harmony track. We got our Vox bus, which you can do a lot of mixing here. And then we have all of our effect buses, like our reverbs and our delays. I'm not going to go over how I mix this song in detail, but if you do want to watch more videos on how to do that, check out this video right here. And I go over how you could actually use this template. A few things I do want to mention, great ways to add energy to your song. Basically, as you can see, the beat is right here. And I have a few effects that I added in just to add some energy to the song. We have this effect right here. And as you can see, there is also a fruity love filter that I just automated during some parts of the song just to re-add that energy to the beat. And as you can see, there's also a few spots where I cut the beat out. And then while I was actually adding the lyrics to the song, I noticed there was a spot in the chorus where there just wasn't enough energy. And I was trying to think, what could I add that really adds that yeet energy? That's right, we added a bell. So I have this bell available in my one shot kit in cyber if you guys want to grab that But I also added this kick right here and let me show you guys how this turned out I think it just turned out super fire So this is the beat with the extra kick I added and the extra bell But anyways without any further ado here's what it would sound like if I were to turn into yeet and make a song I just got the vibe. I just bought this Tonka with curtains on each side. Moving on this way, I think I might have lost my mind. Bought me a new pad and put these diamonds on the side. I just bought these Tonka, I just bought these bed. Now I don't wanna hear that shit you talking out your head. I'm on a bird, all of my boys, we taking meds, yeah, we get hit. I push you with a steady movement on your head. Yeah, uh, the Grammy just came in and I put diamonds on that bitch. Just to kind of stay, so then I go back, I'm getting rich I send these chickens right out of the mail I send a pack out the bro, yeah Moving my money too quick, hot I, I gotta get it to go Pull back the curtains inside of the Rolls Royce I'm coming to Tesla, I'm helping to climb it I hit the pedal and there's no noise Telling the friends about me Not an original thought about it I had to go make a song about it Think it went something like sorry about it Or maybe something like mad about it But I just caught the vibe I just bought this Tonka with curtains on each side Moving on this way, I think I might have lost my mind Bought me a new pad and put these diamonds on the side I just bought these Tonka, I just bought these bed Now I don't wanna hear that shit you talking out your head I'm on a bird, all of my boys, we taking meds, yeah, 